The Milwaukee Brewers hosting the Pittsburgh Pirates, and the Brewers are minus 240 on the money line. The Pirates are plus 200. The over-under is eight runs. Pittsburgh getting a run and a half are plus 100, and Milwaukee laying a run and a half are minus 120. Now, Keller and Woodruff did pitch against the opposing team last year. Keller went four in the third innings, two runs, two earns. They lost that game six to nothing in seven. Woodruff appeared once, seven innings, two runs, two earned. They won that game seven to four. Now, I know that you're looking at both of these guys' ERIs this year, and neither one of them are very good. Now, Pittsburgh's on a two-game losing streak. Milwaukee's on a three-game winning streak. Head-to-head, -head, Milwaukee's on a four-game winning streak against the Pirates. The team laying a run and a half is 7-3 and three in their past 10. The over-8 is 5-5. Five and five. The last four games have gone under. And I understand with both of these guys, you're looking at their ERA and going, this game isn't going to go under. I don't know. I tend to go with the trends, and the trends right now are unders. So I'm going to take Milwaukee with the money line, Milwaukee laying the runs, and I'm going to go under. Of all of the things that I'm the least confident about, it's the over-under. So let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong.